Now to the race for Illinois governor. Today, Republican candidate Richard Irvin took questions for the first time in months. The CBS2 political investigator Dana Kozlov found taking questions was one thing, answering them another. There needs to be accountability. Harsh words from Illinois Republican gubernatorial candidate Richard Irvin about the deaths of three dozen LaSalle veterans home residents from COVID. Irvin says the blame goes all the way to the top. It's crystal clear from what we are reading and seeing that Prisker and his team only began to care about this after the media, all of you guys, began pointing out and bring it to his attention. This, a rare campaign news conference for the potential GOP frontrunner. In fact, it's the first time Irvin actually took questions from reporters since filing his candidate petition in March. Listen, I, I'm pro-life. Irvin said today, one week after a U.S. Supreme Court leak suggested justices were set to overturn the 49-year-old abortion law Roe v. Wade. Irvin initially refused to comment, despite the fact that all but one of his GOP challengers did, and despite the very real possibility the SCOTUS leak now makes abortion a top campaign issue. My exceptions are uh, uh, rape, incest, and the, and the health of the mother. He clarified, but that's about the only question Irvin answered about his record. While his ads portray him as a tough-on-crime Republican, Irvin pulled Democratic primary ballots in three former elections. Yet when he was asked if he voted for former President Donald Trump, Irvin deferred. That's exactly what J.B. Pisker wants, you know, Oliver to be talking about. He wants to be talking about anything other than his failures and his record. He deflected. But, but let me finish. But let me let me finish. Let me finish. And attacked. I'm not going to fall. I'm not going to fall into the trap of J.B. Pisker talking about what he thinks we should be talking about in this campaign. Then he ended the Q&A session after 11 minutes. To note, I've put in many formal interview requests. We'll keep asking. Dana Kozlov. CBS 2 News. Urban says he believes the LaSalle veterans home deaths are the result of criminal negligence. Last week, Governor Pritzker went on the defensive saying he can't keep track of what all 50,000 state employees are doing at all times.